Welcome to another freeform tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create in-video graphics that you can use to tell your viewers to subscribe to your videos. Tap the new board icon to create a new board. I'm going to create a graphic that looks similar to this one using freeform at a shape. I'm just going to use a basic square. To resize a square, just grab any one of these points, long press on them, and move them out like this. Don't pinch or zoom, because if you do, you'll just zoom in on your board. I'll tap the fill color icon and I'm going to choose this green color. That's so it can be keyed out when you add this graphic. Tap in the white space, then add another shape. This one's going to be the rounded rectangle and we'll make it a little bigger. I don't know if you've noticed, but YouTube has changed the color scheme. They've removed the red and gone with a black and white theme. I'm going to make a black and white graphic. I'll tap on the fill color icon and choose white. Tap in the white space. Tap the shape icon once more. Add another basic square. Long press on the handles here and here to make the square narrower and longer. Move the square into position here so that it looks like that. I'm going to have to select the background shape and make it a little taller. Then I'll select the rectangle and make that one a little taller. Now I will select this rectangle Tap the fill a color icon once more and tap on black. I'm going to add some text. Tap in the white space. Tap the text icon, the third icon on the bottom. Double tap to enter text. Tap in the white space to dismiss the keyboard. Select the text. To resize text, you don't pinch or zoom, because if you do, you'll just zoom in on the board. When you select text, you have the text options. This number 18 refers to the size of the text. If you don't see the color that you like on this screen, you can tap more text colors and you'll get the traditional color picker. Move it into position. To make the text bigger, what you need to do is increase this number. There's 24, 36. That looks about right. To change the font, tap the AA symbol, just tap on AA. And then choose your font. I like Avenir Next Condensed Heavy. That looks good. Let's add another text box. Tap the duplicate button. All my text properties should be set the same. 
if you double tap, you can delete what's there. And type the text that you want. It returns. Tap in the white space to dismiss the keyboard. Select your text. Tap on the green shape to expand it down a little bit. And then do the same to the white shape. Tap in the white space. Tap the shape icon once more. You can search for graphics. Tap on the magnifying glass and type the word like. In Freeform, there is no way to flip shapes if you're using the iPhone. However, you can use a shortcut. Tap on the shape icon. Add this graphic, move it into position, tap on the graphic to bring up this toolbar, set the fill color here. I'll copy the image. Tap the three dots, tap on copy. Run that shortcut. There's the original image. There's my new image. I'll tap on done. I'll delete this graphic. Come down here to where there's some blank space. Tap in the white space. I'll bring up the context menu and tap paste. Remember that when you bring it back into Freeform, it's brought in as an image. Long press on your image, drag out the corner to, to make it a little bigger. Now you can move it. That's a little too big. Tap on the green shape and the rectangle to bring it down a little bit more. Next, I'll select this text, hit the duplicate icon, double tap on change your text. Tap in the white space to dismiss the keyboard. Select your text and move it into position. Notice the yellow guides will tell you how aligned it is. Take a screenshot, press the volume up and the side buttons at the same time. Bring up the screenshot editor and crop the screenshot so just the green space is showing. Tap Done and tap Save to Photos. Now let's add it to a project. Open your video editor and open the project. Move to the position in your video where you want to add the graphic. Then tap on Overlay. Tap Add Overlay, tap on Photos, and there's your graphic. Tap in the circle and tap on Add. Tap Cutout, choose Chroma Key, move the color picker over the green, make sure the center dot 
in the color picker is over top of the color that you want to remove. Tap on intensity, turn up the intensity just until the green disappears. Tap on the check mark. Now you can resize your graphic. Pinch to shrink it down and position it wherever you like. Tap animation. I'm going to use zoom in and zoom out. Tap on out. And choose zoom out. For the condition, select is. If you want to leave your graphic on screen for a little longer, just long press on the end of your graphic and drag it out to where you want it. For the condition, select is. And this time we're going to choose the left orientation. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.